Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at a couple of editing tricks in Blender. So I'll be making this spear model to be used on miniatures, and one of the things that was requested was to change the spearhead to make it a bit longer, almost like it's a sword on top of this spear shaft, so someone could use it as a glaive. Now, what I try to do is, as well as keeping everything relatively broken up into parts, I do always try to keep the blade and the cross guard and any additional elements separate so I can edit things as I go. For example, I can go into vertex mode, turn on something like proportional editing, and then change that to smooth, and then I can G and then Z and Z again because I've applied the rotation. So I can move this and create this longer spear tip before booleaning everything together. But what if I didn't? What if I'd selected everything and joined it all together? So I'm just using Control, Shift and Plus. So I now don't even have that as an option over here because Control, Shift and Plus applies the Boolean as we do it. So this is going to be a problem. We're going to add another problem to this as well. At the moment, my item has got the rotation kept on it, which means that I can do the trick of using the vertex and then hitting G and then Z, Z. And that allows me to deform this in the local Z of the object instead of the global Z. But you can start to see the issue here that this is going to also affect those detail elements which we want to maintain the same shape for. These are the parts that put the power into the blade. So we have got something working for us here, but if I control an A and then apply the rotation, this normally happens because we are applying the scale and you click apply rotation and scale together. That's now gone back to zero, and if I go to vertex and then G and then Z and then Z again, it's going to stay in that global axis. So I need to solve both of these issues. So let's do them one at a time. The first thing is I need to sort out this orientation so I can extend the blade in the direction of the spear. So I could try and start rotating this around to guesstimate it to be vertical, but what I can do instead is find a face that's going to be correct in that direction. I'm just going to shade this flat so it looks a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is go into face mode. I'm going to select these faces here because they are parallel, well in actual fact perpendicular, to the direction I want to go. And I'm going to shift an S and I'm going to bring my cursor to the face. That is using machine tools to have that pie menu. You can also go to mesh, snap, and then we can snap cursor to active and that will do exactly the same thing. So we've solved this, now I can go into vertex mode and change my transform orientation to the cursor and now when I press G and I can press Z and it will go on the Z axis of the cursor. So that's the first issue solved. Second issue is we don't want it deforming all of these parts in the middle and this is where using this hiding trick is going to work. I'm going to shift and Z to go into X-ray mode. And I'm going to press C to activate the circle select tool just because it makes things quicker. And then I can move up and down on my mouse wheel to change what's being selected. I'm going to select all of the vertices here. And then I'll do the same for the cross guard, making sure I don't hit any of the vertices that are part of the blade. So there's fine. Now you'll notice because I did this in X-ray, it's selected both sides and I'm just going to go here and select all of the other vertices that I don't want being affected. Then I'm just going to press, oh, let's make sure that top vertex isn't selected. Then I'm going to press H and hide all of those vertices. And this is a very important aspect of Blender. Blender will only affect the things that it can see when you're modifying a mesh. So if I select the tip and then G and then Z, I can now extend this out as much as I want. Let's go to about there to make it a bit longer. Go into object mode and you'll see that this has not affected these points. Now if I want to go back into edit mode and edit things, all I need to do is press Alt and H and it unhides everything. And you can see what this has done to my mesh. It has basically flexed the mesh around the object. These were originally vertical. Now this can cause some problems. So for example, if I have a look here and go into face mode, this has caused this face to be a bit messed up here. So we might have to go into here and then go into vertex mode and correct some of these vertices. So I might want to just select that face, delete that face out and have a look at some of these edges. For example, this one here also needs to be fixed. So I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to select that edge to this edge here, go up to here, 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 and here, and press F to fill that. Now do bear in mind, we could do this if this created a more complex shape bit by bit, but as this is a flat object, that's gonna cause no problems. So 
we've been able to edit this really quickly and easily even though we don't have a rotation set in this direction I will have to do the same on this side if it's created this overlap here we can see that just there so you do have to be careful using this tool but it is something that can save you a massive amount of time on your editing workflow so hopefully that little hiding trick is going to save you some time have a great day guys